Welcome to this video, a new part of the calculation and tactics series. This is from a game between um, two English players, Stuart Conquest playing white and Michael Hennigan playing black. You might know Hennigan from my channel, I've played him a number of times in Blitz Chess. Stuart Conquest is a strong English Grandmaster, nowadays not that active anymore on the tournament circuit. He's very much involved in chess in Gibraltar. He's organizing the great um, Gibraltar Open every year. And I think he's also involved in other chess projects there. Um, let's have a look at this game. This is from 2007, played in the 4NCL, the British Chess League. White here played the move rook a1. The whole situation here is uh, quite clearly from a king's Indian defense, where this uh, typical pawn chain in the middle of the board, this kind of thing, defines the whole position. White has a space advantage, and uh, he has the more he has more attacking targets on the queen side. Considering also that those pieces are not not really great strategically speaking white is a lot better but it is still not an easy process to um, to make headway from here because black has some things going for him an active queen this knight is also well placed always putting pressure here yeah rook a1 was played in this position the black player now played the move knight to a4 and this is the reason why this is part of the calculation and tactics series and not <laughs> uh, a part of uh, some middle game strategy thing where we, we want to look at uh, how to play against the King's Indian structure. After knight a4, the situation becomes highly tactical. And um, the task I'm, I'm giving you is to look at this position and now find the best continuation for white. Okay, should pause the video now. I'm going to <laughs> going to show it to you. Okay, let's have a look at this. I'm going to show you the solution quite quite shortly. Yeah, knight a4, a funny move. It attacks the queen, of course. And uh, well, you cannot take here. It's a pin. So hmm, what what does this mean? It's knight a4 all of a sudden, leading to a good position for black. What should white do? Let's have a look. Um, knight takes a4 is the the most uh, most obvious move. But then black will recapture. And in fact, he can even recapture with the rook. If he takes with the pawn, and if you calculated that, um, then you probably even came to the conclusion that queen a3 is still good for white. Yeah, the situation on the queen side is, is opening up and we have more pieces there to attack especially this weak d6 pawn. However, black also has this possibility. And after rook takes a4, things are not that clear. One problem is that in a situation where we have everything traded, like let's say for example something like that, and we just, let's just continue that to, to show the whole thing. If we come to a situation like that, the whole proceedings are shifting to the to, to one flank. It's just happening on the king side, and on the, on the center. And while white is still a little bit better, he has only one very apparent weakness, d6, which probably can be defended. So this is not leading to that much. But what else is there? What else is there after knight a4? The queen hangs. The knight hangs. <laughs> what else should white play? Conquest found a brilliant solution to the whole thing. He played the, the absolutely astonishing move, rook a2. And I, I find this extraordinary. Rook a2. What is this move doing? It's just ignoring the attack on the queen. Yeah, the, the big point is that if after rook a2, black takes the queen, white grabs the rook with check, black interposes, it does not matter, bishop f8 is the same thing, 
And then white has the amazing resource knight a2, attacking the queen, and this queen is trapped. Yeah, this is extraordinarily difficult to see at the at the start of the whole thing. The queen has no squares. The somewhat weird move knight a2 attacks it, it takes away c3. He cannot go here or here or on the a-file. It all is protected by white's pieces. So black is losing the whole queen for just one piece. I can sacrifice it like that, for example. But in this type of position, white is just very simply winning. Uh, even this knight is, is totally stranded on b2. It has nowhere to go. So an amazing resource. The point is really that very often you have to check if a threat, a very apparent threat, is really a threat, the move, if we go back, the move knight takes b2 is not really a threat, as there is rook a8 check and knight a2. This is very difficult to see, but in fact, white actually could consider a move like h4 in this position, because there is not, knight b2 is not threatening. The difference between a move like h2, which is not doing very much, and rook a2 is, of course, that after rook a2, you protect your queen, and this means the move b takes a4 is threatened. Also note that, of course, black can never take c3 because, well, this is also a very simple capture on a8 with an exchange up. So rook a2 is flat out winning the thing. It's, it's just like that. Why does threat need to take on a4? And black has uh, has no reply, really. He played in the game. Uh, what actually did he play? I think a rook c8 is what he tried. There is really no move, uh, to be honest. He, he tried to hang on for a bit, trying to find the, the actual game continuation. Where is it? <laughs> rook c8, yes, here it is. Rook c8, and after that, White um, white can just take like that. Yeah, and here we come to the to a situation that is a very easy win as we attack d6 so often that black cannot defend it. It's just a just a hopeless hopeless position. Something like that. Bishop f8 happened h4, rook c7, rook b4, bishop d7, and rook b6, and d6 was indefensible. Yeah, you didn't need to calculate that far. The The big point here, really, and the, the, out, the start of it, is that you need to recognize that after knight a4, there is no attack on the queen. It's very often the case that we automatically assume an attack on our piece is really in effect. It's not really always the case. Very often we can answer with a counter threat or it is simply not a real threat. Um, but sometimes it is very difficult to see. It is, uh, I think in this case, exceptionally difficult to see that rook a2, putting it on a2 exactly, then taking here and then knight a2 is trapping the queen. It's a fantastic resource to find. Um, yeah, maybe you found it. I, I think, um, I'm not sure if I would have managed that. It's uh, <laughs> it's very, very tricky to see. And uh, great that uh, Conquest spotted it in the game. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little piece of, uh, this little piece of tactics. And um, yeah, calculation and tactics videos are coming all the time. And uh, look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching.